This segment is sponsored by Woe Behavioral Health. There's an organization in town that is working with a lifespan of ages, working to help with mental health issues and a host of other elements that really in the past year have just been fast forwarded. Larry Pope is the executive director and Sarah McLillard, clinical director for Woe Behavioral Health. They join us this morning. It's nice to have both of you with us. Thanks for having us. Absolutely our pleasure. Larry, let's start with you and talk a little bit about the specifics of Woe Behavioral Health and what this organization brings to the table in our community. Yes, Woe Behavioral Health, we started in 2015 uh, as an organization to assist youth with a summer program uh, with therapeutic day treatment. And we always brought the principles of compassion, caring, and recognition. So we've always stood on those um, core values in expanding our program and outreach throughout the community. Even with this organization beginning in 2015, certainly the need and the demand was great then. And as I mentioned, we've pushed fast forward. This last year has exacerbated an already prevalent issue in our community across the world, really. But Woe Behavioral Health has grown considerably to address that. In the last year, COVID-19, social unrest, two key areas that are having impact on on everyone's mental health. Sarah, what have you seen and how is this being being addressed. Yeah, I mean, I think we all know that this is a huge deal. And overall, you know, our bodies have been under a prolonged stress for the last 10 months, and we're all really exhausted. Our bodies and our minds are constantly trying to come back to homeostasis. And we haven't been able to do it, right? And so, you know, what we're seeing in the mental health field is an increase in, um, substance use, domestic violence, depression, anxiety, but overall, I would say that our society in general is just exhausted. (laughs) Sarah and Larry, are you finding that individuals are reaching out for help or are you finding that folks are saying, where do I turn for help? And how is that need being addressed by Woe Behavioral Health? Hi, Sarah. (laughs) I would say it's a combination of both. I think some people don't know where to start and that it's, it's overwhelming to make that first step of like, where do I even begin and how do I access um, the community of resources around me? And so one of the things that we did was to create a mental health 101 um, tab on our website so that it explains exactly, you know, what's the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychologist? What's the difference between and LPC and LCSW, you know, how do I even begin to find a therapist or begin to find what level of care I need to access? And so we wanted to make that as simple as possible. Um, So we added a little bit of information on our website for that. So W-H-O-A-R-V-A.com hosts that uh, Mental Health 101 website where you can go and learn more and really get that conversation started, even if you're in the research phase. Larry, I would imagine that a lot of folks in the community, if you were at a certain level of need to begin with, it's it has increased now. So you're seeing a big influx of folks turning to Woe Behavioral Health looking for that help. Yes, we are. And again, uh, to piggyback on what Sarah was speaking about, that's the reason we have the Mental Health 101 tab, because the the person, only you know what you're feeling and what you're going through. And if you're reading something and you say, oh, that's the service I need or that 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 fits my needs versus someone telling you, oh, I think you will benefit from this. If you're in the comfort of your own home or on your phone or your mobile device and you're reading the Mental Health 101 uh, tab and it's telling you what services uh, would you know, and and letting you know the difference between services, that person can make an informed decision on, oh, I think I would benefit from that service. So that was the reason for that, because we are seeing an influx of people trying to figure out where to go, what should they do, who should I speak with? Let's talk, Larry, a little bit specifically about those programs that are offered with Woe Behavioral Health. Yes, we offer uh, intensive in-home services, uh, which are for youth. We offer mental health skill building, outpatient therapy, substance abuse, intensive outpatient, um, and those in crisis stabilization. So those are the services that we offer uh, under the Woe Umbrella. Quite a few branches to make sure that those needs are being met. And Sarah, how are you conveying, how is Woe Behavioral Health conveying 
to individuals who may be watching right now to say that you're not alone in all of this that's going on and that continues to unfold? You know, I think Richmond is really lucky. We have a community of mental health providers that is broad and strong, and there are so many, um, you know, practices out there that are available to individuals to provide support and at many different levels. And Woe is one of them, but you know, we are we are proud to be a part of the community as a whole. And it's really important to know that it's okay to not be okay right now because it's different and it's weird and it's hard and we're all really exhausted and it's important to know that there are individuals out there that can be a sounding board can be a space where you can have to just come and heal and relax and have an hour that is fully just um, for you Great words of wisdom. And we're about out of time, but I would imagine too, Sarah, you encourage folks to start at the very moment that they begin to feel that it's okay not to be okay. Don't let this escalate. Absolutely. It's so important to reach out at those beginning stages because we don't need you to be in the hospital. We need you to just say, you know what, this is really hard and I just need an hour to really focus or more than that, whatever it is that they need. It's really important to just start at the beginning stages and, um, you know, just reach out and ask for help. It's important. Absolutely. Well, hopefully our conversation today puts that in front of so many folks who may be ready to take that step. Sarah McLillard and Larry Pope with Woe Behavioral Health. Thank you so much for making time for us. Oh, Thank thanks for having us. us. Absolutely. We appreciate it. We'll share some more information so that everybody watching today knows where to reach out. Woe Behavioral Health is located at 6010 West Broad Street, number 103 in Richmond. You can give them a call at 804-282-1863 or visit them online at whoarva.com. Virginia This Morning returns right after a quick break. <laughs>